Today, we're going to do some testing with homemade shotgun shells. We made some wax slugs and some hot glue slugs. What we want to do is find out the basic uh, muzzle velocity. What we're going to do is stand about five feet back from the chronograph. I'm going to shoot four rounds. I have two wax slugs, two glue slugs. Um, I have the slugs marked with the overall weight of the shell. The actual weight of the projectile is, of course, less than the overall weight of the shell. But uh, I'll, I'll post the weight of the projectile later, then I'm going to calculate the muzzle energy and I'll put that up too. So what we'll do is we'll start off with the wax shell. We have uh, 665 grains total weight. As you can see, the weapon is not loaded. I don't have any rounds in the tubule magazine. Weapons on safe. Come in. I need you to record the muzzle velocity. Got it. One thousand one hundred twenty-seven. All right, back up. Wait, Wait can, can we see? Can let's you see, see where it's at. Hit? Whoa! Struck there. Was that here? Hit there. It looks like it penetrated into one of the logs. Uh. Let's see what it did afterwards. Can't tell where it actually ended up. Okay, we're going to do another round. This is a glue slug. I made this one actually with, uh, I did it in layers. What I did is I took the shot cup out, I put hot glue in, added uh, lead shot, seven and a half size shot, put more hot glue in, layered it all the way up, and then the top of the shell has a steel nut embedded in it and finished off with another layer of hot glue. Trying to get a, you know, just doing some experimental things here to see if something hard on the end of the projectile would help penetration or potentially on the bottom. Uh, one of the shells has a nut at the bottom. One thing we're not gonna, one thing we're not gonna be able to do today is determine really the penetration potential of these slugs. There's no way I can accurately gauge that off of that wood. It's just going to be for velocity, and I'm going to shoot some back around 25, 30 yards for just to see uh, what kind of accuracy they might have with a bead sight. I, didn't, I failed to mention earlier that uh, I didn't say that these were low brass two and three quarter inch shells. They're not by any means high powered rounds, uh, so I don't expect to get much above 1,200, 1,300 feet per second. All right, so this is a 474 grain total shell. Pause. Hot glue, we'll give it a shot. Wait. You think we got an error. We got an error on this one. That can be due to several reasons. It says 640.9, obviously it's... That's, well, that's not correct. The sun can actually affect the velocity reading you get. So... I actually shot the top of it. This isn't right. No, I, I wasn't from that. I don't know what hit that. I, I just ended the video. Okay. I have two videos. That show ejected okay. All right, let's do one more. Do another? Yeah, I'm going to do another round, see if I can get accurate reading this time. I didn't start yet. Ready? Yeah. All right, this time I'm going to shoot a 529 green blue slug. Last shot didn't give us accurate velocity reading. It can be due to uh, various things, sun being a little too close. So... Let's try this again. All right, going hot again. Step back just a little bit.
Okay, we got a good reading this time. Is it on? Pause. It's pretty good velocity. Daddy. That's off a 529 round. I was making sure one, two, you one, uh, put seven. it on safe. Okay. One, two, Twelve hundred and seventeen feet per second. Yes. Where? I actually did aim at the box. Ah. Got the edge of the box. I'm just no. gonna oh, ripped it. Well, Look it'll easily that. rip that. It hit here. It ripped it. And then it hit here. Look at that. Demolished that log. I think it, the longer distances these won't be as accurate. But in any case, this short range doesn't matter. We're checking velocity. 664 total weight. So I would imagine this one's going to be fairly slow. Fairly slow, we'll see. You guys ready? I just started. Eleven eighty six, it looks like. It's also very heavy. Let's see what we got behind there. A big hole, and then it went and penetrated somewhere, somewhere into those logs. Oh, there's the wad. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, so the slug came nice. out of the wad. I had the slug Why loaded into here. There? That's from the radio. Oh. The old radio. As you can see, this was a one piece. I had sliced the bottom it part of the wad off. It didn't. Um. It didn't. Uh, All right. We're where did it do, hit? We're done on velocity. Now I'm gonna just try for some shots at this X or uh, cross I put on here. See how accurate it is. It Without a good sighting system, I don't expect it to be that accurate. Come on back. We're gonna use the we're gonna use the rangefinder with my camera. All right, I'm gonna shoot a 494 grain slug. Glue, hot melt glue. It's 26 yards. We're just getting an idea of how accurate Wait, these do you can be. Have with one the, in there? No. Oh. We're getting an idea of how accurate it can be with just an open standard bead sight. Got one prior to this. It was a wax slug that we didn't it's film. Right there. That wax slug was 607 grains total weight. Pick it back up. And that one struck a bit high and left. Yeah, I can see. It's like, it's pretty close to the Time. Right, here we go. Okay. Blue slug. See the hole left one go. above that Blue cross, yeah, that's it. Ooh, I saw that. Whoa! That one hit actually you almost see that? really close to the it, know. it hit dead. It almost hit dead. It hit very close. It, it like hit like I saw it like in the air a little. Yeah, that was the I was only pointing at you with the camera though. That was a glue slug, four hundred and ninety-four green. I smell it. Me too. That was very accurate. I was impressed. Yeah. Like, also, a noticeable difference in recoil from this one to the uh, wax slug. There's obvious difference in the weight. Of the I think pound. wax is and how it re wax up. is not as good. Wax is glue, better. I'm guessing it's probably better. It seems so far like the hot milk glue is more accurate, but we don't yes. have to trust. Shoot another slug. It's a uh, wax. This is one of the lighter ones. It's 562. I don't think it will get dead hit. We'll find 562 out. 562 grain. 562 grain. And again, that's the total weight of the entire shell. That's not the weight of the projectile. The okay. shell itself weighs around 145 to 150 grains, so subtract it and then you get your projectile. Three, two, one, go. See it. It goes a little high, a little right. Yeah, high, yes. right. Not as high as the left one, though. This no. was three minutes and... This was Let's start minutes. walking up and look Let's at it. One more round. Then we'll look at so it. Far, it's the last glue slug that I have. I made four of them. This is a 502 grain. This one I actually loaded with another nut on the end. And gave it a slight... Uh, 
I would say almost a slight tip as well by filling the center of the nut with hot glue. Yes. yes. It's not entirely flat. Let's get close in. It's not entirely flat like the other one. See, wait, yeah. point it back. Yeah. It's like See a it? Little, There's yeah. a, it's a little, little shape raised. inside there. Yeah. And we'll see if this one is as accurate as the first one was. Three, two, one. Ready. Go. Whoa! I don't know. Fell 